Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Hayden from Connect. So this is a three-part video series on, on how to get Excel files automatically refreshed in Power BI. So if you haven't seen the first video, um, we're using SharePoint. You could have used OneDrive. Um, maybe jump back into that first video if you want to see how. But effectively, what I have is my shipping data for 2018 and 19 in SharePoint. Okay. So jumping back into Power BI. I just want to create a measure, a slicer, just to show from the first video the source name. So just to show that we've got those two files loaded in. Okay. Right. So what we want to do, make a save, and then publish this to the Power BI service. So publish it here, connect. This will take a second. So that's now hit the service. Just something, if you've never used this before, get quick insights. This will run the Microsoft AI over your data set and it will suggest any, any charts, any graphs, or show you any, anything that is identified in your data. It's really interesting. Give that a go. I'm not going to go through this in this video. So, got it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to head into my Power BI workspace. I'm just going to hit refresh. And as you can see, we've got the new ones here. Accidentally clicked on it there. We've got the new ones here, how to automate Excel. Right, so there's no next refresh scheduled, so I need to set that up. Not in the report, but in the data set. Select the three buttons and select settings. So the first time you do this, the first time you connect your Power BI workspace to your um, SharePoint, you will need to enter your credentials. Now, I don't need to do that, I've already done that, but just check for that. So normally, if you don't see the ability to schedule refresh here, that means that your credentials are missing. So, schedule refresh, right? I want that on. So what this is gonna do, this is gonna automatically refresh that Excel data in the Power BI, in the SharePoint into Power BI. So I've got a couple of options. I'm just gonna select uh, weekly. This is just for ex demonstration purposes, and I'm just gonna have it on a Monday morning. And then once I've chose the day, or if it's daily, you then start to add your times in. Now you can add as many times as you want. I'm just gonna choose one here, 7 a.m. in the morning. So when my customer starts, when my business starts uh, on Monday, that data's there ready for them. Now, in here, if there's any refresh failures uh, within this data, it will send a, a, an email to you, or you can add other contacts. So let's just click apply. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to go back to my workspace. Um, as you can see now, I've now got a scheduled refresh for the 25th of January, which is on Monday. Right, and if I click on the report, you'll see this is exactly what we just processed from the PBIX file. It's a replica of this, okay? So let's take this away. Now, what I want to do, um, I'm going to take in the 2020 shipping data and drop it into this folder. So I'll do that. Drag that into there. Once that's done. Okay, so that's now ready to go. So if I go back into Power BI, I'm not going to wait till Monday morning at 7. I'm not that patient. I'm going to trigger the refresh myself. So you can do that by selecting this option here. As you can see, this will take a this will take a moment or two. There's not much data in there, so it won't take too long. And that has refreshed that data. So if I select the report now, why has it done that? It's not got the 2020 data in, but it has. I don't know why it's done that. Uh, it's not refreshed that visual. Ah, right. So data's in there. Delete that. So I've now got that 2020 data in there. Um, I'll just to go back to here. If we did the same thing in a table here, source location. There. Not source location. What am I doing? Source name. There. You can see I've still only got those two, but in the Power BI service now, it's gone and refreshed automatically 
the data that I've put into the SharePoint site. So that's how you automate the refresh of data into Power, Power BI. The next video in this series, we're going to start to venture just outside of Power BI into some of the great products that Microsoft has delivered in Power Automate. We're going to use Power Automate to scan my inbox so when a file is received, it will take that file, it will automatically load it into SharePoint. So thanks for tuning in guys um, and stay tuned. Please do hit like, please do hit subscribe if you like these videos. More, more to come. Thank you.